All right, Empires and Allies fans. Today we're going to discuss the level four HQ and its defense options. Now, with the level four HQ, you get an extra dome sentry, four landmines, and ten extra walls. So not a lot more to work with, but you do get some viable defense options now. Um, the biggest thing here going to be the dome sentries. These are the strong, uh, toughest of your defenses, so you shouldn't sit them together so that they get airstriked each. Now, you're going to want to put targets out there, like your fuel stockpile and your supply stockpile, targets so that the enemy will come after them and come in range of these defenses. Also, you want to just put your rally flags on opposite ends of your base and set them to patrol so that they run back and forth and make it harder for the enemy to uh, decide where to deploy. Uh, also you get your research station which make sure if you want to you can research the, um, the, the, the base defenses. You can research the commandos up if you want, uh, which is a good idea. Make them stronger, that it makes them tougher to kill and it makes them kill your enemies faster too. So besides that, make sure to upgrade your guard towers and your sentry guns to around level four. Um, I do believe that this is Im this will be important as uh, enemies with tanks and harder to kill units covering their other good units is going to be become more relevant as you get to level five with your HQ. So make sure you do that. Uh, but pretty much that's it. Um, level five HQ, which will be actually a good discussion here. Uh, we're going to get ten more walls another guard tower, another rally flag, which in addition to the rally flag, the rally flag troop you actually get to uh, recruit is going to be the spider drone. Spider drones are strong against vehicles, they deal bonus damage, they hurt vehicles really bad, and so you're going to want to be using these, um, not as the bulk of your base defense, but if you use them smart enough, you'll definitely be able to hold off a lot of good attacks because these things are a pain in the butt against uh, tanks. So just make sure to keep that in mind and in addition to the rally flag we will get the artillery. Artillery will be important we will discuss good artillery placement in our next video. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for checking out my defense tips video here and make sure to like and subscribe if I missed anything in the comments let me know below um, otherwise make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video